Welcome back to Red Dead Online. In this video we are going through every single animal in the animal field guide for the naturalist role. This will not include the common critters because you can't sample them and trade the entire category. And this will not include the legendary animals because we haven't discovered all of them just yet. So this is for the standard animals for the main five categories. So if we jump into the animal field guide, and bear in mind some of these spawns are completely different to anything you've ever known before. So what I'll do is leave a link in the description to a website called Ranked Boost. They have a lot of locations in there, but if you are stuck with any of them, then leave a comment and I've obviously found them all. You'll see where it says categories traded, it says one for all of them. So if you are stuck with one specific animal, then leave a comment and I will help you out. So starting off with farmland, you have 11 in here. You have the Florida Cracker Cow, the Angus Bull, the Devon Bull, the Hereford Bull, Angus Ox, Devon Ox, Old Spot Pig, Berkshire Pig, Big China Pig, Merino Sheep, and Alpine Goat. A quick tip for a couple of the bulls being the Angus and the Hereford, because you can go to certain ranches, but there will only be a set amount of different animals that can spawn in them. So to put context behind that, you have Emerald Ranch that will spawn, I believe it can do the Devon Ox... Or something like that. There's like an ox and the Florida cracker cow that you'll find here. But then other than that, you will also find the alpine goat here. It's normally in with the chickens if it's going to spawn there. Which is just behind the cow ranch. Or like the cow pen, whatever you want to call it. But the main one for cows and bulls is up here. So it's literally just north of the Heartland oil fields. But when you go here, the Angus bull and the Hereford bull can't actually spawn there. And if you look at ranked boost or any other like location guide for the animals for the Hereford and the Angus bull they will tell you that they can spawn here they can spawn over up by this there's a little ranch here but from what I know there are only pigs that spawn there and then over at San Denis just north of it around this sort of area here there are some like pens for animals but I visited this area several times and there was not a single animal spawn besides one horse so where I actually found the Angus Bull and the Hereford Bull is if you come down to Rhodes and you look at Mattock Pond, this little area right here, just to the northeast of Mattock Pond, there is a couple of cow pens, but then attached to the southmost cow pen, there is a smaller pen that will spawn one bull. That bull can be, I believe it can be the Devon Bull, it can be the Angus and it can be the Hereford. But what you need to do, if you come to that area, and the bulls and cows and stuff don't spawn at night time as far as I'm aware. But if you come to the area during the day, if you check the pen and there's nothing there, if you go over to this sort of area here, there's like a bunch of rocks. Go that far away from the pen, then go back. They will spawn and then you can also come south down this road until you get to like this fenced off farm sort of area and you'll see people in there dealing with their crops. Go down to there, then go back up to the pens and that's like the distance you need to get away from the pens for the animal spawns to reset. So that is for the farmland animals. If we go back into the field guide, we now have desert habitats. You have desert iguanas, banded gila monsters, nine banded armadillo. I believe that's Baja, California pronghorn buck. Then a pronghorn doe. Then you have a collared pickery. You have a sonoran pronghorn buck, pronghorn doe, desert bighorn ram, desert bighorn sheep, Sierra Nevada Bighorn Ram and Sheep. Then you have a Black-Tailed Rattlesnake. Then you have a Cougar. Majority of these animals will spawn in New Austin, down at the bottom left of the map. But sometimes you will find the Sierra Nevada Bighorn Sheep at Owangila, which is to the west side of Strawberry. Moving into the next category, we have the Wetland Habitats. You have American Alligator Small. Then you have the large, like the standard-sized American Alligator. Green iguanas, which can be found, I'll quickly show you on the map. If you come to these little islands here, so if you go to like this point up here, or if you go down to this point here, you can travel across with your horse, and on these islands is where you'll find the green iguanas. So you have the two types of gators, the iguanas, alligator snapping turtles found all around La Grasse, panther and Florida panther, I'll show you those in a second, diamondback rattlesnake, Midland Water Snake, Timber Rattlesnake, Northern Copperhead Snake, Southern Copperhead Snake, Cottonmouth and Northern Water. 
So the Panthers will go through first and then we'll talk about the snakes. So if we get the map up again, the Panthers will spawn around here. You can actually see the symbol on the map, but the Panthers only seem to come out at night time. Night time on this game is between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. That's their, like, the most prime time for their spawns. Literally just roam around this area. You'll normally see a red dot pop up. Both the normal Panther and the Florida can spawn here. And then also, I believe you can get the Florida Panther down in New Austin as well. But this is the best spawn for them, which is just southeast of Braithwaite Manor, because both types of Panthers can spawn there. You'll also find a couple of common critters around there, like squirrels. You'll find the odd snake. But the best place for the snakes is this little marker I've got here. So if you look at Saint Denis, you follow the train track out of Saint Denis. As soon as you cross over this section right here, this exact location, we have found northern water snakes, midland water snakes, and then around this sort of area here, like all of this like swampy sort of area, you'll find the cotton mouth. There are a few others, and you need to be careful with the snakes like the northern water snake because they're not aggressive. They won't randomly attack you, so they're not going to pop up as a red circle on your minimap. You will actually have to just look in the water and find them, but they do spawn in that area with the marker very very often for the northern copperhead you can find them anywhere grassy sort of areas not in the swampy sort of area down at the pan for spawn i've found maybe two or three northern copperheads so that will complete the snakes next up we have the mountain and grassland habitats so you've got a rocky mountain bull elk and then you have the cow elk you've got american badger gray wolf timber wolf rocky mountain bighorn ram bighorn sheep California Valley Coyote, Whitetail Buck, Whitetail Deer, Wild Boars, which can also be found down by the Panther Spawn, along with Whitetail Deer, like Deer is probably the most common animal in the whole game. American Bison up at the Heartlands, Pronghorn Buck and Pronghorn Doe, the American ones, they're found pretty much anywhere. These grassland and mountain ones just literally go from Valentine to Emerald Ranch and just keep going back and forth and you'll find a lot of these American badgers included. And then the final category of animals we have is the forest and river habitats. There are a couple of tricky ones in here as well. So you have the American black bear. They can be found up at Oangela. I think we found a couple west of Strawberry. Also, they can be found up at the northeast of the map, north of Annersburg. They can be found around that sort of area too. North American beavers, Oangela again. Raccoons can be found pretty much anywhere. They're just like, I'd basically say they're a common critter. They just, they roam around everywhere. Fairly common. American red fox, American grey fox, silver fox. They can all be found in similar areas. Even if you go up by, is it Kamasa River? I'm not entirely sure. The one that's west of Van Horn and Annersburg. You can find these animals around them areas as well. Striped skunk, they're common. Virginia opossum, they can be found in the heartlands. And then you've got American muskrats. You'll know about these because they come and they try and bite your ankles. Then you have a western bull moose. They can be found at Oangela as well. And then you have the western moose. So the female version of the western bull moose. These are a nightmare, but I'll show you a location we found them in, in a moment. Then the penultimate animal is a grizzly bear, and then your black-tailed jackrabbit, which can be found pretty much anywhere as well. The grizzly bears, you can also find these, like, you don't have to find them in free roam. You can do the free roam events. You can do missions for Harriet. There are several ways to come across these animals. We took on... I believe it was a legendary mission after passing level 5 for the naturalist role. We took on a legendary mission to take down the legendary... I can't remember his name, but it's an American bison, the legendary variant of it. And there were a few grizzly bears in that mission. And during the missions, legendary, the normal poacher missions, free roam events, you can sample them all. You get to keep the samples and it still counts towards your field guide. So the final thing is the moose. And then remember, if you need help with them, let me know in the comments. Also check out the link in the description to rankedboost.com where they show a lot of the locations. But for this moose, we found the male one up at Oangela, which is right here, mainly on the north side. We found the male moose there, but the female one, we had to go to this marker here. Literally, like, either side of Dakota River, this sort of area here. So it's just southeast of Wallace Station, and you should find a female moose there. Moose is supposed to spawn, I believe, 
And they can spawn down here by Aurora Basin. They can spawn up here, so just southeast of Oangela. But the main one, we found the male here for our guide for the very first one. And then for the first sample for the female, we found it here around Dakota River. So that's going to do it for the video. That is all of the standard animals besides the common critters because you can't do anything with them when you try to date in the common critters. So we'll use a black squirrel as an example. As you shoot it with your sedation rounds from the varmint rifle, it will just die. It still counts when you pick it up as complete in research for the field guide, but Harriet is also going to get annoyed and she won't interact with you for 10 to 15 minutes because you're still killing them regardless. So I don't know how that works because you're still getting research for these critters, but she's getting annoyed with you because you're killing them, even though there's nothing in the game to sedate them with. But don't worry about the common critters because you can't sell them as a category. There are other videos with tips and stuff on the channel for selling full sets and stuff, and there should be a couple more coming soon, possibly. I'm going to be working on the legendary animal one as well. But that's going to do it for this video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.